This week at Receiver, I have a smorgasbord of guys to choose from. I have two guys that may be on the periphery of starting, but they shouldn't be. They should be in your lineups. And one guy who is going to be in your lineup, but I don't think you know how good he's actually going to be, because he's going to be the best. This is Mayo's Triple Play, Stardom Receivers. Hockey, 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 oh. hockey, 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 oh. Through two games, Atlanta's been killed by intermediate routes. They got dink and dunk by Drew Brees in week one, except for one giant pass to Kenny Stills. And last week, when Sam Bradford was trying to lead the Rams back, same thing. Now, Miami has a very similar strategy on offense, because they don't run the ball all that well. They go deep to Mike Wallace and short to Brian Hartline, who you need to be starting. Through two games, he has 23 targets. Now, they may lean one way or another. It may be a Wallace-heavy game, but I wouldn't expect that to be the case. I'd expect a lot of Brian Hartline and maybe even have the Austin Pettis from last week's stat line. Eight catches, 78 yards, maybe a score. Lest we forget week one and Anquan Bolden's ridiculous game. Last week, let's forget that because we're not playing Seattle anymore. And you know he's going to be open again this week against this awful Colts defense. Expect San Francisco to want to run up the score after being embarrassed last week. And a lot of that's going to go through Bolden, especially with Vernon Davis's hamstring slowing him down. Get him in. There's a strange dichotomy unfolding with the Dallas offense. Either it's Des Bryant or everyone else, or everyone else, and no Des Bryant. And against St. Louis this week and their pretty solid defense, expect a lot of Des Bryant because they do not cover wide receiver ones. Larry Fitzgerald, eight catches, 80 yards, two touchdowns. Julio Jones, 11 catches, 182 yards, and a score. Both saw 14 targets in that game, and you know Romo loves to stare down Des Bryant. Des Bryant is the best receiver play of the week. If you don't have Des Bryant on your regular fantasy team, I got a solution. Go to fantasyfeud.com, sign up right now, and enter their free running tournament from now through week 11, and you win, you get a chance to face Adam Ronis one-on-one in week 12 and try to win a grand. I want a grand, I bet you you want a grand. It doesn't cost anything to sign up. If you use Des Bryant, you're probably gonna win. You can find all of it at fantasyfeud.com slash Ronis. I'm Pat Mayo. See you next time. Oh!